Thank you all very much for, for being here. And before I get started, uh, let me say thank you to Boss and Roland for a very important reason. Uh, Boss and Roland together are great supporters of an organization I happen to work for called Music Cares. And for those of you who might not know, Music Cares is an organization that helps people in our music community in times of crisis, financial emergencies, medical emergencies, addiction issues. We are there to provide a critical safety net of support to people in our community when they face truly difficult times. And by the way, it's not just people who get up here on stage. It's the folks who drive the trucks, who hang the lights, who run the sound, who run around and make the music business happen. We are there for music people at all times. Roland and Boss have been terrific financial supporters for what we do, and I ask for a round of applause for them for their work on our behalf. So at this point, allow me to bring to the stage 2016, I hope these guys are ready, Boss Lifetime Achievement Award winner Jeff Baxter. Where are you, Jeff? Junichi Miki, Yoshi Ikigami, and Jay Wanamaker. And now, in recognition of his outstanding musical achievements and contributions to recorded music in the music industry, we are pleased to present the 2017 Roland Lifetime Achievement Award to Andy Summers. I should say a few words. Thank you very much. Uh, it's amazing hearing all that stuff that uh, Scott was saying. It makes me feel incredibly old and ancient. But I'm not. I'm still using rolling gear. I do notice everybody's dressed in black today, which is a little strange. It feels a bit funereal, uh, fashion-wise. So thank God we've got all those little colored boxes to stamp on. We need those. So, um, you know, I'm very happy to get this, and I'm, I'm very happy to be here. I'm happy to be anywhere, actually. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, I, I, I've been using this uh, Roland equipment for a really long time, certainly since the early days of the police. Before that, all I had was bass and treble. There wasn't much else around. And uh, so we, we've had a long relationship that's been very good for me because, uh, you know, as we sort of emerged with the police and I tried to develop the guitar sound, of course, I started to acquire more and more of these little colored boxes. I can't remember the names of everything because there were so many of them. And so I've got a permanent limp in my right leg now from so much stamping on those boxes like an insane person. Years of it. My thigh muscles are very well developed, actually. <laughs> when you keep pressing those buttons, so there's, there's a good physical aspect to it. And I would encourage it. But, um, you know, just to, to you know, pay tribute to what Roland did, they... Got to get off? Oh, oh, thank you. Oh, no, this is better. Yeah, no, this is a bit more showbiz. I like it. Yeah, yeah, all right, I'll come out in the middle now. Um, well, you know, we, the, the, the musical ability and the creativity are sometimes encouraged by having these um, devices. I can't say that... You know, hopefully you, you know your music and you know how to play and everything. But um, all these uh, things that came from Roland in particular were able to open up what I was able to do in the police in particular, which of course became the most popular thing I did or I think anyone has ever done. <laughs> yeah. um, you know, for instance, I used the, um, I think it was the GR300 on the... Uh, don't stand so close to me, which sold over a million singles alone in England, Walking on the Moon. All, all those hits all featured Roland products. So, uh, you know, if I hadn't had them, I might not be standing here today. That's a dreadful thought. You know, because, you know, I like to get this stuff. Um, in fact, I want more and more of it. Why not? You know. So, uh, 
it's an interesting time, you know, technology and music, uh, you know, pushing the edge forward, and I think Roland are leading the way in that. And uh, I'm sure I wouldn't have made as much money if it hadn't been for Roland. But I am going to encourage both Sting and Stuart Copeland to give all their royalties to Roland, because without the sound of the guitar, they wouldn't have had that, would they? Yeah. Let's just go there, shall we? No, I'm kidding, but no, actually, I really mean that. Um, I'm going to get to it. Um, and today, I'm still making records, of course. I put out a record last year with a lot of Roland sounds on it. And the latest one, of course, I'm using their VG99, which is terrific. You know, I have to sort of bullshit the uh, guitar magazines that I got all these different old amp sets up and vintage sounds. Actually, it was all in the VG99. It was all there. <laughs> That's great. We didn't used to be able to do that. They really, uh, they really did a very good thing there. And I love the fact that you can do all those open tunings through the, uh, through the box. For those who are interested in such things, such weirdness, like tuning all your guitar strings to E only. It's a sort of ultimate guitarist dream. We really are an E now. Yeah, good. <laughs> I might try J next week. We'll see. Um, so that's it, basically. I'm very happy to be here to get this and, uh, you know, be part of the whole Roland thing. And I, you know, I hope we r do go on. You know, I've got their drums now, which are really fantastic. I'll say that was a trans transformative for me. Because I really want to be a drummer, actually. All this stuff with guitars is a joke, really. Anyway, um, that's a nice little box right there. So, I don't think I have any more to say, except thank you very much to Roland. Thank you for the award. Thank you for listening to me, and see you later. Bye. <laughs>